Hi, and welcome to our tutorial series to get you started on Test Monitor. These videos are designed to show you how to use the main features of Test Monitor and will help you to set up your first test project. In this first video, we'll get familiar with Test Monitor by showing you around. We'll tell you how to navigate through the menus and highlight the different stages of testing. We're going to assume you already have a Test Monitor account. If not, visit www.testmonitor.com to start your free trial. You'll be up and running in minutes. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at a project with some preset content, so it might differ slightly from your situation, depending on the setup of your project. Right after you've logged into Test Monitor, you'll start at the Project Overview page. Here you'll see all active projects that you're a member of. You can change your default home screen in your account settings. We'll get to that in a moment. When you open a project, the dashboard of the selected project will appear. Let's review elements of the project dashboard. At the top of the page, you'll see the main navigation bar. This contains the following items. On the left, you'll see the Test Monitor logo. Clicking on the logo will take you back to the project dashboard, which is this page. Next, you'll see a series of menu items. These items represent the different stages of testing in Test Monitor. We'll start with Define. This allows you to define requirements. When the risk-based testing feature is enabled, risks will show up here as well. We're going to deal with defining requirements and risks in the next tutorial. The Design menu lets you design test suites and test cases. Once you have created a test suite, you can add new test cases. With Plan, you can plan milestones and test runs. Milestones mark important test events in your project. Again, once a milestone has been created, you add new test runs. Next, Run allows you to execute the assigned tests. The Track menu allows you to track test results by test case and by test run. You can create issues based on test results here as well. When issue management is enabled in this project, Resolve lets you manage your project issues. And finally, Analyze provides you with reports, charts, and statistics based on your project data. Next to the menu items, you'll find the global search icon. You can use this to search through your entire project using a text query. Test Monitor will suggest results as you type. You can use this to quickly jump to a specific test case simply by entering its code. Next to the search icon, there is the project selector, which shows the current project name. Once clicked, a list of available projects will appear. The active project will be shown first, along with the small cog icon. Clicking this icon will take you to the project settings. You can switch to another project simply by clicking on its name. Next is the notification bell. Any notifications will be shown here. An assigned test run, a successful import, a mention in a comment, or a completed milestone. The settings cog wheel takes you to the application settings. Here, you can configure your global language setting, but also create new projects or add new environments. And finally, the avatar icon will open your profile menu. The account settings will take you to your personal preferences. For example, here you can change your default home screen to project dashboard. After logging in, you'll be redirected to dashboard of the currently selected project instead of the project overview. The profile menu also provides access to the My Work view. This page shows all your assigned test runs, issues, and tasks, along with a personal activity timeline. Using the Profile menu, you can also access the Help menu and log out of Test Monitor. Below the main navigation bar, you'll see the actual project dashboard. This shows your project status at a glance. Once you have specified a couple of milestones, a timeline is shown for each milestone, along with its progress. A green, filled circle denotes a past milestone. A green, open circle is the current milestone. Unmarked circles represent any future milestones. A check mark will appear in each circle once a milestone has been completed. Next to the timeline, you will see a button with the number of members assigned within this project. Once clicked, a list of members will appear, including a shortcut to manage your members. Beneath the timeline on the right side, several counters indicate the amount of requirements, risks, test cases, test runs, test results, and issues. These numbers quickly allow you to preview project content. For example, an empty project would show all zeros. Positive numbers for test cases and test runs would suggest a project still in a design phase. On the left side, there is the project message board. Messages posted here are shown to each project member and allow you to keep everyone up to date. 
Any member can post a message. You can also make use of rich text formatting and mention other members. Furthermore, you can like individual posts and reply to them by clicking on Reply. On the right, you will see a list of all activities within this project. Each activity shows what happened, at what time, and by whom. At the bottom, your assigned test runs, issues, and tasks are shown. You can quickly start a run by clicking on the Play button along each test run, and you can mark tasks as completed by ticking their respective checkbox. This concludes the Getting Started video in this series. In the next video, we start with setting up your test project by defining some requirements and risks. Thank you for watching, and happy testing!